Setting up a grounding system is the easiest part of your fence setup. If you have a small fence and a two foot ground rod, you can just stick it into the ground with your hands. It should be near the fence and near the charger if possible. If you have a more sizable fence and a full length six foot ground rod, you will need to hammer it into the ground. Try to put it in an area which is centralized so that the charge needn't travel a long distance underground to reach it. If you are concerned that your ground may be too dry, sandy, frozen, or made of asphalt, or any other grounding issue, please see the video titled Additional Grounding for more sophisticated grounding options. For now, we will assume that your soil is moist and can carry a good charge. So now that your ground rod is fully into the ground, cut a length of wire long enough to reach from the ground rod to the charger. This wire can be bare metal, insulated, or even polywire. The small ground rod has two attachment nuts which pinch the wire. The larger rods require a clamp in order to get a solid connection. It's very important that the wire is held tightly. Once it is snug, connect the other end to the negative terminal on the charger and securely clamp it down. Your grounding system is now in place and you may move on to connecting up your fence.